Okay, so this is my second attempt at painting a dog and it's just because it has been requested by this cute girl called Erika. So she wanted a dog and I was like, well, what kind of dog do you want? And she just showed me this picture of this cute puppy. I actually let her use my iPad to just look up dogs. So she showed me this cute picture and I was like, oh my God, okay, I'll try it out. <laughs> and that's pretty much how I started. Um, I think I've already talked about this before. I'm one of those people who just learns hands-on. I mean, I do like reading, but I do not really plan ahead of time when I'm painting. I actually uh, paint or practice quite a lot in my sketchbook. And I have, let me see, right now I have six sketchbooks <laughs> going on. <laughs> and they're all for different media, for different subjects. But I do like, I'm quite chaotic, but I do like that way of just, as soon as I change my mind or I'm getting tired of something, I'll just move on to something else and that way I'll keep myself busy and you know how they always say that some people get artist block, which is whenever you want to just grab a pencil or a pen and then you just keep that pen or pencil in your hand without knowing what to paint. Well, that never happens to me because... I just have a hundreds of ideas running through my head and then I'm quite easy at painting and most of them are failures and I will probably make a few sketchbook videos in the future but right now um, none of my sketchbooks are um, done or full and I well maybe I should do halfway through because most of the sketchbooks I have have about 200 to 300 pages and of course that's gonna take a uh, quite a while besides I don't like painting or drawing or sketching big when I sketch I tend to make about five or six faces if I'm painting faces on a page or well around five to six drawings on each page so that takes quite a while but yeah maybe I should do that anyways going back to this cuteness <laughs> this has been requested by one of the little kids in my classroom and I was kind of scared of painting dogs in the beginning but after the first painting for Olivia which was the previous video and this one I'm quite happy and I would like to try more I would also like to try painting them in other mediums as you probably already know by the way of videos I upload I'm quite comfortable with watercolor I'm not a master but I do find it's the most comfortable medium for me and I'm I'm quite happy I mean even when I make mistakes they turn out cute so yep so uh, apart from that what else can I tell you guys well whenever I'm painting I do have a lot of idea and I do put them in practice but for talking I'm not that talkative and especially when I have to do voiceovers like this one well I'll just go with the flow <laughs> and that's pretty much what I do I wish I could upload these videos without with some music but then you know how copyright infringements and music problems come up even if you think you're not gonna have any problems in the beginning months go by and then all of a sudden you might get complaints so we'll just stick to my to my voice i hope it doesn't bother you guys too much okay about the type of painting i've done here it's mostly wet on wet for a first layer this has been about three to four layers I know you can't really see it, but well, you do see the time shift sometimes because the paint, whenever you apply it, it's a bit darker than when it dries. Uh, so you do get to see part of that, but I've tried to keep it wet on wet mainly because I like the way water flows and the colors tend to go wherever they want instead of wherever you want it to, to stay. And then I did do some wet on dry but once again <laughs> i do find it quite 
boring i don't know um do you guys find boring wet on dry it's just like if i would want to use a wet on dry technique i would just paint and draw in ink rather than watercolor because i think the beauty of watercolor is to just see how it spreads and flows on paper but i do get that whenever i need the the intensity or the strict the i don't know if i call them a uh, strict edges i think that's that's not correct well anyways um so whenever i apply wet on dry i do get a bigger difference between the colors i put before and the color i apply later but i also like to smooth them out a little bit by applying a bit more of water so this was pretty much it this puppy has been created for Erika she was really happy with it and I'm sure she's gonna be happy to see this video <laughs> and what else I hope you guys enjoy watching it as much as I enjoy painting it I know talking over is not my forte so if you feel like bothered by this just turn down the volume and continue watching video well that's actually one of the things I do I whenever I like somebody's painting I actually play them for going to sleep I fall asleep watching other people's paintings and just not to get distracted by the volume because some videos might be louder some videos might be lower um, I turn the volume down and I just play automatically the videos until I fall asleep <laughs> so if you guys get bothered by, by, by my voice and my accent and my rambling, just turn the volume down. So I hope you guys enjoy and I'll see you in the next video.